as we gather this morning for morning moments with Jesus. You know, as I think about our devotions that we do day after day, week after week, and trying to draw us into the presence of the Lord early in the morning, that's what morning moments with Jesus is designed to do, is just give us a little time together and draw ourselves into the presence of God before we start our day. But it came to my mind this morning as I was preparing for this devotion that devotions are great in the fact that they they do draw us into the presence of God. They confirm some things in our lives. Sometimes they encourage us uh, on something that we've got to do or things we've got to face. But if we rely totally upon devotions or even uh, the preaching of the word or songs to bring us joy or to to bring us that stability in life, then we miss a great treasure because those things are there as tools to help us stay connected to those things, but they are never designed to bring us true joy in life and peace in life. That can only come through the power of the Holy Spirit that dwells in you and your ability to allow God's Spirit to day after day, week after week, moment by moment, to enrich your life and to bring you closer to, to His presence. So with that in mind this morning, we talk about finding joy. And it's found in John chapter 15 and verse number 11, the verse that God brings us to this morning. This says this, These things have I spoken unto you, that my joy might remain in you, and that your joy might be full. As I look in the Word of God, Jesus speaks often of what our condition should be like on earth. And although our lives uh, are few and full of trouble, the Bible says, our approach to living life, that's the key. See, He tells us that we should live under the influence of His peace and not the world's peace. That he came to give us an abundant life, not one of gloom and one of sorrow. And we are under the illusion sometimes that joy is somewhere else. It's the next place. It's, it's the next thing. But joy abides in us through the power of the Holy Spirit. I came across a saying the other day I'd like to share with you. It simply said this. That we need to be, be beware of destination addiction. And that's the idea that happiness and joy is in the next place, in the next job, or even in the next relationship. Until we give up the idea that joy is somewhere else, it will never be where you are. So as we look at that this morning, in this verse Jesus desires for his joy to remain in us through the Holy Spirit but that the joy might be full. That means all-encompassing. Everything we have is joy. Happiness is often based on our circumstances at the moment. But true joy is a choice. True joy is a lifestyle. It's a spiritual position, not a physical position. So maybe it's time this morning you stop believing that true inner joy is always going to be found in things or people, places or positions. And you begin to live a life of inner joy that can only be found in Jesus. So I pray that blessing over you today. I pray that you stop looking for joy in everything else. See, that's the pursuit of happiness. And happiness is not a bad thing. But happiness is usually based on who you're with or what you're doing or if things are right in the world. But true joy comes from Jesus. That no matter what is going on in the world, I can experience joy in my life. Because it's a choice. It's a lifestyle. It's something I choose to walk in. But I want you to be safe. Be strong and be blessed in knowing that Jesus Christ said that He came that His joy might remain in you and that your joy 
might be full. So go out today and find joy, not in things, not in people, but in Jesus. Have a great day.